Hello everybody and welcome to another mod review. Today we're going to be covering the Dark Pearl mod. This mod adds only a few items into the game as the other mods that I have shown you so far do, but it has some awesome twists on some old favorites. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through down the line. The most basic thing you need is the actual Dark Pearl. In order to craft that you need a piece of obsidian and a piece and an ender pearl and you get two pieces of Dark Pearl. Now with these Dark Pearls you can't throw you can't use them for anything else but other crafting recipes this is the most important crafting recipe which is a diamond surrounded by dark pearls you get one dark diamond now with those dark diamonds you can come on over here and you can craft any kind of armor so as you can see we have a pair of pants here but you can do helmets chest plates everything uh, this armor has about 2,000 durability as opposed to um, the near 1,500 that regular diamond has but it is a little bit expensive you know needing the ender pearls that you um you're going to use um, but it does add a lot of cool stuff you can also make all the tools the tools also have 2000 durability um, here I'll read a little bit more about the dark diamond armor I, I think I was wrong on that dark diamonds also create dark diamond armor dark diamond armor absorbs 90% of the damage taken diamond only absorbs 80% so it actually absorbs an extra 10% of damage taken which is absolutely humongous when you're fighting really big bosses um, and then yeah, and then the tools have one have an extra 500 durability Which is really awesome as you can see the attack damage is absolutely ridiculous on the sword We're gonna go ahead and take this out so I can show you some cool tricks with it. This is also the It seems to be falling nighttime perfect for the dark showcase mod, right? So this is called dark TNT and Dark TNT is crafted like this. It is very expensive as well. Five pieces of TNT and four Dark Pearls makes it makes it very, very expensive. But for a good reason. Now, Dark TNT is a little bit different than regular TNT. It ha it can destroy land, but a little bit more awkwardly. The, the coating is not perfect for what blocks it actually gets rid of and where you can still walk. But I've set up a few demonstrations so I can go ahead and show this to you guys. Now, Dark TNT is not set off by redstone. It is, but very unpredictably. It, it, it may go off, it may not. So, in order, so, the only real way to set it off for sure is to go ahead and go into game mode s right so survival but there's a few things i want to do before we do that i also want to do slash um game rule and we're going to keep our inventory um just so that we we don't keep dropping the sword but the sword usually i don't know if this is going to work but you usually right click it and it explodes it's not going to work now um but usually the first sword you make right clicks and explodes or at least in my experience uh it always works in creative holy crap the weather is not complying with us no big deal sorry about that uh taken care of but yeah we right click and usually it explodes i believe that's its, its primary function I'm not 100 percent sure if that was intended i think it was because i think it'd be very hard to code with our code to it like to accidentally have it do that um, but like I said it, it doesn't work if you go if you're holding the sword and you're in creative um, and you like pop in and out of creative and stuff so there's a few bugs to go on with that but this is this is the thing I wanted to show you so we're gonna go ahead and hop on this guy right here um, actually I don't know if we're gonna die Whew. what should we do oh can we set our spawn T slash set spawn no Oh, spawn point. There we go. There. Now my spawn point's here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to punch this guy. The only way to do it is to left click it so it won't even work in creative. So let's go ahead and do that. Woo! And we landed in water, luckily. But see, that's what I said about the blocks not generating correctly or not being exploded correctly. When you try to get out of the holes, you see it stops you. Very, very, uh, kind of annoying to be fair. Now, I have set up a couple more of these explosive traps, just so you guys can see the absolute fun with this. Now, you notice that when I use that, I didn't take any damage. That's another thing from this TNT that is very awesome, is that you don't take any damage from the explosions. I believe mobs do, but you will not. So, let's go ahead and fire this one off. Let's go a little bit higher in the air, shall we? So, there we are, a little bit higher in the air. Let's try to land in the water. Come on. Yes. Nice. Awesome. So yeah, as you can see, a much bigger explosion, but some of those blocks are not rendered correctly, so it's not really that big of an explosion. 
Uh, but like I said, this this mod is a lot of fun to play around with, especially if you just like running around using TNT, launching yourself places. Um, it's it's a good time. Plus the uh, the added sword and other tools are, are a nice thing to work for, and they are not super overpowered, but they are hard to obtain, which is 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 better than being very easy to obtain and being uh, very overpowered in itself. I I would much rather it this way. Uh, our last obvious TNT demonstration is a little bit more crazy. Um, this is a tower of TNT. Uh, what is it? Five, five by five, and then it's got a three hole down, and then it's got well three by three cut in, and then a three hole down. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up and we're gonna left click the TNT. Now this usually, this usually lags out the world a little bit, and so we'll find ourselves in the air when we finally come back. But let's go ahead and set the the time today for us just so we can see um a little bit more of the surrounding as we fly up ready and three two one lift off so here this is what i mean we, we get a little bit of lag there but then i'm looking straight down by the way normally you can see your hand right away but look at the hand slowly creep back into frame here um, we are absolutely ridiculously high up obviously much higher than the block limit will even allow um, it would take forever to fly up here in creative, um, but we'll just let this go ahead and I'll keep talking. Um, I, the things I like about this mod are like the ender pearl are very hard to obtain and obsidian is as well. So so the diamonds are end up being really expensive. So if you are going to use it, I'd suggest the sword. And here we come back down to land. Yeah, and, and there's like a lot of things that I really do enjoy about this mod. The simplicity plus... Um, the amount of fun you can have with the TNT, even in creative, like if you set it all down in creative, hop into survival and then left click it and then fly up. I, I caught myself doing it quite a few times, obviously. Um, oh, we should probably go see the hole over there, right? Just to just to go see where it was. Now, remember, this is the one this is the one TNT hole, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Yeah, I think that's the one TNT hole. This is the nine TNT hole, the three by three hole, which is really weird that it's got a wall right in the middle of it. But let's go ahead and run back over and we'll take a look at this one. I don't want this stuff in my inventory, so we'll drop it as we go. I have a ton of dirt. I'm going to drop it. Get out of here. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to come back. And you remember where that little structure was? Yeah, we basically leveled the uh, the little hill it was actually on. Um yeah, that's about that's about all I wanted to show you guys in this mod showcase. There's actually one more thing that I can show you, um, but I did love this mod. If you guys if you guys want to check it out, please remember to uh, look down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please uh, remember to hit that like button. It means a lot. It shows a lot of support. Um, let's try to break 30 likes this time. That would be very awesome of you guys. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see uh, and you want to maybe see these other ones, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button because I'm sure. Um, I'll produce more content that you guys will enjoy. The last thing I wanted to show here was we'll just take one piece here and we'll go back into our our survival mode. Um, this TNT can be used not only to like fly up, but like let's say you're 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 underwater, right, and you're digging something up. Let's say you know obviously you're punching something, but you need to get out fast, right? You just let, set it down and. Boom, and it, ta and it will launch you back up, not all the way up all the time, but it will take you to the surface a lot quicker, and it's a great escape method if necessary. So when uh, when it's in 1.7, but if it is updated to 1.8, uh, ocean, ocean Temples, I think they're called, or yeah, they'll be very awesome to do with this stuff because then you can always evac real quick. Plus, they work underwater, easy to, easy to set off underwater, so you, got, you can uh, penetrate fortresses. Okay, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great day.